Hello, I'm Miss Libby Rose. I'm a fashion design specialist and sewing teacher. In this video, we're going to learn how to make a simple skirt. What you'll need is um, some fabric scissors, some pins, some weights, a sewing machine and thread, and also your sewing pattern. If you'd like to learn how to make a sewing pattern or how to design a skirt, please see our videos, how to design a pencil skirt and how to make a sewing pattern. Step one is to choose your fabric. A nice fabric to choose is something with a little bit of give in it. Um, we've chosen this gingham because it's nice to make a pencil skirt out of just some nice give it gingham and it's got a little bit of give in it as well. First I'm going to cut out my back. Now this is cut two, so the fabric's on the fold, so I'm going to cut two of my back pattern. So now we've cut out our fabric from our patterns, we can take our patterns off and get ready for prepping it for sewing. Back. Now at this stage I would say to do right sides together but this fabric is has got two right sides so it doesn't matter too much with this but generally you would put your good sides your right sides of your fabric together facing each other so we lay back on top of our front and then we pin we pin all the way along our two sides so that we can sew up our side seams. At this point another option would be to zigzag stitch along all the edges or overlock along all the edges of the fabric. That would stop the fraying. This fabric isn't prone to fraying too much so I think we'll be all right. So we're going to go straight into sewing up the seams. Now we line it up on the machine and we want to do a 1.5 seam allowance. So I'm lining the edge of my fabric up to the 1.5 mark on the edge here. So we start off with our usual backward stitch. Three to four stitches backwards and then we go forwards. We're following the 1.5 seam allowance. And then we do exactly the same on the other side. So now we've sewn our side seams up with our 1.5 centimeter seam allowance. We're going to check the fit and now we're also going to check whether we need any darts in the front. So we'll go to the fitting stage now. I tend to try it on inside out because then you can pinch the darts quite easily. Sometimes you will need darts and sometimes you won't because we leave a bit of ease in the original pattern. It sometimes means that we will need to leave darts and other times it fits quite nicely. So we repeat the same process of sewing up the side seams onto our facing exactly as we did sewing up the main skirt. Transfer the markings of the dart exactly as we did on the main skirt and then we're ready to sew our darts into place. So we now go through the process of sewing our darts in. You can do it either of two ways, you can start at the top and sew down into the dart or you can start at the bottom. I like to start at the bottom so that I know that I've got it and then wind your way back out of the triangle to the top. So we do a few stitches. We still have to back stitch for these. We don't want our darts coming undone. Just follow our chalk line. So it 
it's really just sewing upside down triangles. So I've taken all the pins out of my darts and the facing and the skirt has got all the darts sewn in. And I can now sew the facing onto the top of the skirt. So now we're going to attach our facing to the front of the skirt. So we place our facing on the top, so with the right sides facing each other. So we've got our main skirt and our facing at the top here. We're going to sew the whole way along. And we've left a 1.5 seam allowance at the top, so we're going to drop it down that much and leave 1.5 seam allowance. So you might want to pop a few pins in at this stage. I suggest pinning at each seam so that you can so that you can match up the seam and the dart. So now I've pinned the, my facing to the skirt and I've matched up my seams and my darts to each other and I'm now going to sew all, all the way along here. So now we're leaving a 1.5 seam allowance. Backwards a few stitches forwards. And we take off the pins and we've attached our facing to the top of the skirt. Okay, so we've sewn our facing on and it's best just to press it down so it sits nice and flat. So you've got a nice edge along the top. See that that's sitting quite flat along the top. So first of all, let's pin this zip into place. We've got a nice, funky, brightly coloured pink zip here. So I'm going to pin that in place with the top of the zip leading into the facing. So now we have our zip pinned in place, we know where the zip's going to end, so we can sew our back seam in to the bottom of the zip. So we'll sew that in first, again with the 1.5 seam allowance. Before sewing in a zip, we're going to swap over to a zip foot. So take out our regular foot and replace it with a zip foot. And this zip we're going to sew on the outside of the skirt. So we just top stitch all the way around the zip. Back stitch first of all. So to the bottom of the zip, turn. and then up the other side of the zip. The final stage is to do the hem. Now this is just simply just, just sewing up the whole bottom of the skirt. I, I like to suggest to do to roll it up once and then up again so you're not showing any of the raw edge. And then just sewing the whole way around. And that's how to make a simple skirt.